Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x to the power 4 plus 9 is equal to 0. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. This x to the power 4 can be written as x to the power 2 times 2 plus 9 is equal to 0. Now by using this power rule a to the power m times n is equal to a to the power m whole to the power n. This x to the power 2 times 2 can be written as x squared whole squared plus this 9 can be written as 3 squared is equal to 0. Now we have sum of 2 cubes. So we use this algebraic identity a squared plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared minus 2ab. This will become x squared plus 3 whole squared minus 2 times x squared times 3 is equal to 0. Further simplify this will become x squared plus 3 whole squared. This 2 times 3 will become negative 6 times x squared is equal to 0. Now we can turn this expression into difference of two squares. So this first term remains the same x squared plus 3 whole squared. This negative 6 times x squared can be written as negative root 6 times x whole squared is equal to 0. Now we have a difference of two squares so we use this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So this will become x squared plus 3 plus root 6 times x times x squared plus 3 minus root 6 times x is equal to 0. Now from here either this expression x squared plus 3 plus root 6 times x is equal to 0 or this expression x squared plus 3 minus root 6 times x is equal to 0. Now we have two quadratic equations. It means we can find four solutions from these two quadratic equations. First we solve this one. From this equation we rearrange the terms. This will become x squared plus uh, root 6 times x plus uh, 3 is equal to 0. This uh, quadratic equation is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula. In this equation we have a is equal to 1 and b is equal to root 6 and c is equal to 3. According to quadratic formula x is equal to negative root 6 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write root 6 whole squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 3 divided by 2 times a is 1. Next x is equal to negative 
root 6 plus or minus square root of this square will be cancelled out with the square root and we are left with 6 negative 4 times 1 times 3 will become negative 12 divided by 2 times 1 2 next x is equal to negative root 6 plus or minus square root of this is 6 minus 12 will become negative 6 divided by 2 next x is equal to negative root 6 plus or minus this uh, root negative 6 can be written as a uh, root negative 1 times 6 divided by 2 next x is equal to negative root 6 plus or minus this will become root negative 1 times root 6 divided by 2 next x is equal to negative root 6 plus or minus this root negative 1 will become i times root 6 divided by 2 it means that from here we get two values of x x1 is equal to negative root 6 plus i times root 6 divided by 2 and value of x2 is equal to negative root 6 minus i times root 6 divided by 2 now we solve the second case in the second case we rearrange the terms in this quadratic equation we write this x squared and then we write this negative root 6 times x negative root 6 times x plus this 3 is equal to 0 and again this quadratic equation is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula in this equation we have a is equal to 1 and b is equal to negative root 6 and c is equal to 3 according to quadratic formula x is equal to negative times negative root 6 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative root 6 whole squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 3 divided by 2 times a is 1 next x is equal to negative times negative root 6 will become positive root 6 plus or minus square root of this negative root 6 whole squared will become positive 6 and negative 4 times 1 times 3 will become negative 12 divided by 2 times 1 2 next x is equal to root 6 plus or minus square root of this is 6 minus 12 will become negative 6 divided by 2 and x will be equal to root 6 plus or minus this root negative 6 can be written as root negative 1 times 6 divided by 2 and x is equal to root 6 plus or minus this will become root negative 1 times root 6 divided by 2 next x is equal to root 6 plus or minus this root negative 1 will become i times root 6 divided by 2 it means uh, from here we get uh, other two solutions uh, x uh, 
थ्री इज इक्वल टू रूट सिक्स प्लस आई टाइम्स रूट सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाय टू एंड एक्स फोर इज इक्वल टू रूट सिक्स माइनस आई टाइम्स रूट सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाय टू सो वी हैव फोर सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस इक्वेशन